first thing that you should do uh, once you have downloaded and extracted all the files is you should go to this text document and just go to all these different links and uh, you know download the fonts that were used in creating these templates from these links right they are for free so you can use them uh, you, you don't have to pay anything else uh, just, just download them use uh, install them and you're good to go next I would suggest you go to the preview files folder and you open the preview file over here what this is going to do is it's going to open up in your web browser and it's, and it's going to give you um, a preview of all the different code animations that this pack has. This way you can understand what you're going to be working with and what suits uh, you know your project the best. So whether you want to work with a zoom out uh, version of the code or whether you want a 3D version of the code or whether you want a simple flat one. So for tutorial purposes, let's go for flat code 01, right? And everything else works pretty much the same. So uh, I'm going to go for flat code 1, but you can choose anything you want. So once you have decided which one you like and which one you want to work with, you can go to the After Effects Files folder. And here are basically some versions. So here is an all-in-one 4K and Full HD version. This is basically having a full combination of all the three different sets that are being offered in the template. Uh, this is great if you're working with multiple files and you uh, want to use different versions of the code in one video or if you're working on multiple videos then it's great to you know include this into your uh, include these into your projects uh, but assuming saying that you know maybe you have a low config machine or maybe your project already is quite heavy and you just want to work with uh, one or two quotes then what you can do is you can decide which category you want to work with if I want to work with flat decide which resolution you want to work with I'm gonna go for 4k and you can you know choose this file this is again a main file meaning it has all the flat uh, titles so all the flat quote animations or you can uh, what I have done is I've taken the time and I have divided them into their separate files so we wanted to work with flat 01 right this way we can take a very light file and we can merge it into our ongoing project. So this is right now empty, but I'm going to assume that for you, it, you know, you already have stuff over here. It can be videos, it can be other animations, stuff like that. So you can just, you know, simply drag and drop this into your project panel. And this way, the file is only 604 KB. It's not that heavy. It doesn't, uh, you know, slow down your machine and you can get started. So assuming you did this, right, you have imported your file into uh, your After Effects, you can rename this if you like, if you are not a big fan of the naming scheme, but I've tried to name it as much, you know, properly as I could, so it's 4K, flat, and then 01. So once you open this folder, you can go to 01 flat, right, this way you can see, uh, you know, what I have written and, you know, what you want to change. So say you want to change the text, right, you can go to text replace here folder, and you can decide uh, text 1, text 2, text 3 and text 4 right so I'm gonna go for text 1 and I'm just gonna simply type out some uh, random words true measure of success uh, the true measure of uh, maybe I'll change this to hard work right and sometimes you know what's gonna happen is that your line is gonna go a little bit outside you can just scale it down like this and now if you come back to our main 0 1 you can see that the line has been changed so uh, before we here there was success now it's hard work so you can go in here and you can type in whatever you want and it's gonna update uh, we can do the same thing for the credit so Stephen Richards maybe we want to change that to say something else so I'm gonna go for um, you know your company right maybe you just want to include a company name or a brand name and if you come back you can see that the animation updates right there you go um, now how do you change the duration now the duration part is very simple you can just take this layer right and you can move it to, to the left or to the right depending on how long you want the animation to be so sometimes you may want the animation to come in and then to hold for some time so you can just take this and you can move this ahead like so and yeah, as you can see all this time it's gonna hold and sometimes you just want it to come and then to you know to to go away quickly so you can push this towards the left and this way it's gonna come in it's gonna hold for a very short time and then it's gonna go out right so basically where the second layer starts where this out animation starts that's where the exit animation is gonna begin right now right now you can see that the uh, that the background sorry that the animation is on a uh, is on a background color sometimes you may want to have an alpha background meaning a transparent background uh, you can go to the controller layer over here 
alright and you can go to BG on off option and you can just put a check mark like this this way you're gonna get a proper transparent uh, background and this way you can you know put this on a video or on a photo and you can you know work like that uh, just in case if you would like to have a colored background just put the check mark back on and you can go for the BG color and you can decide which color works best for you so maybe you know go for something like this oops All right and then see what you like what you don't like what works well with your project stuff like that uh, I'm gonna keep this black maybe change it to a little bit gray there you go uh, you can change the color from uh, of the text so you can change that to red you can change the credit color to maybe you know a nice blue right and uh, that's how that works now the one thing that we always do with our templates is that we give extra uh, you know controls of scale and position so maybe you want to shrink this down maybe you like the animation maybe you have changed the text but you just want the animation to be a little bit smaller in size you can come to the scale option over here and you can reduce it right now the, the thing is that you have to remember that you want to work with an alpha background right so you want to switch this off and this way it's gonna get smaller right there you go and you can even adjust this position so maybe you know you have uh, someone saying something you know your subject speaking over here and then you want the quote to appear so maybe you can just scale this down push it towards the right and work like that so this way you have plenty of room for showing your subject or showing someone talking and uh, you know you have a good animation happening side by side so this is good for you know those kind of projects uh, I would just like to quickly touch up on the 3D category because we have uh, some extra controllers over there so again you know once we have gone to the preview and decided which one you, w you know we want to work with then we can come here and we can uh, you know you know choose that exact quote and then start working with it so I'm gonna go for a 3D quote one again this is one of my favorites so I'm gonna go for the 3D category this time decide which resolution I want to work with so I'm gonna go for 4k again now again guys you can work with this file but the thing is that this is 10 MB right if your computer can handle it that's great but I'm gonna go for the individuals and I'm gonna take this individual file 01 and I'm just gonna I can drop it over here right I open this go to 3d main 3d right so it's 01 main 3d and as you can see we have a little bit of a depth animation right now the only controllers the extra controllers that you will find are the focus distance and the aperture this is basically to help you control uh, the blur settings right and this is you know you can you can like b because there is a stopwatch over here you can always come in here and you can animate this right so we can come over here and we can maybe make it like this so this way you're gonna have a nice animation that moves with the time right and this way it's gonna work really well and you can you, you can decide which part of the of the uh, quote has the blur so this way if we increase a blur with the aperture setting with the focus distance we get to decide which part of the animation or which part of the text gets the blur so either you want it to be a little over here a bit over there stuff like that right so you can probably animate it like this from left to right and it would look really really nice Alright, so those are the extra settings that we have offered in the 3D uh, category of the quote and that makes up my quote animation pack. If you're having any problems with this template, feel free to message me and I will help you out as much as I can. Thank you so much for posting this template and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you.